Are you an international student who is currently study or work in Australia? Australia will be implementing immigration and visa changes in 2021-22 to support the country's immediate response to COVID-19, which would affect those looking to live and work in Australia permanently. These visa changes will be applicable from current month only that is July 2021. So, this year is going to be the fortune year for the Australian international students those are currently present in Australia? Let's see some of the main favourable changes for students. Main changes those will come into the existence from July 2021. International students can work for over 40 hours in certain sectors. Many international students in Australia face financial hardships due to COVID-19. Some students and their families lost their jobs, bolstering the need for options for students to support themselves. The Morrison government announced that Australian student visa holders can work for more than the usual 40 hours a fortnight if they work in certain sectors. The removal of the working hour cap aims to international students working in critical sectors, including aged care, the agriculture sector, trades work as well as the tourism and hospitality sector, for this exemption. Although this is a temporary exemption what looking at the current situation and Australia's rigidness towards border opening will actually give a response that this extra hours work rights for international students will remain there for a longer period. Onshore applicants will be preferred for PR in this financial year. Australian government has clearly declared that while the department plans to prioritise economic visa cohorts, in terms of applicants, the top priority will be given to those who are currently onshore. As the current situation suggests that already filed visa as well as new application for expression of interest by the offshore candidates will remain on hold for next one year. So there is a great opportunity for onshore workers or other visa holders to get permanent residency till the next one year. Australia has a limited number of places for its migration program each year, but the country's Department of Home Affairs confirmed that there are no changes to its skilled streams even after COVID. In 2021-22, the migration program will maintain migration program cap at a ceiling of 160,000. This includes 79,600 places for the skill stream and 77,300 places for the family stream. So for the international students those are presently in Australia this year is really going to be a golden year as most of them, those who have finished their study and meet the basic filing eligibility criteria and have some respectable points in general skilled migration program will definitely get PR. As we all know that from the 2019 government aims to reduce pressure from major cities like Sydney and Melbourne because of population blowout concerns, so it's anticipated that the government will issue who currently live and work in regional and low populated areas. Priority migration skill occupation list will be the other cherry on cake for the international students in the specific field. Last month, the federal government announced that it will fast-track visa applications for more occupations on the to support the country's post-coronavirus economic recovery. The addition of 22 occupations brings the PMSOL to 41 in total. Students who are working on post-study work visas and have their profile in PMSOL are the best deserving candidates to be selected under current situation. So this will really going to make a cherry on the cake for the students those are currently present in Australia and have an Aussie dream. Visa holders, who have been sponsored by an Australian business in a PMSOL occupation will be subjected to quarantine arrangements at their own expense, said the government. Existing skilled migration occupation lists will remain active and visas will still be processed, but to those in occupations on the PMSOL. Among the occupations on the PMSOL main occupations include Civil engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, software engineers, network and system administrator, medical laboratory scientist, veterinarian, general practitioner, resident medical officer, psychiatrist, midwife. We have explained in detail regarding the complete list of 41 occupations in the last video so please watch the video to know more about the complete list. So. Isn't it a golden opportunity for the international students currently present in Australia to earn money, work for almost unlimited hours and to get Australian permanent residency? Do subscribe our channel to get all news related to Australian immigration in your mobile phone first of all. We hope that you will like our efforts to provide accurate information to you and you will definitely like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you again with another video.